Hi everyone, today I'm going to be demonstrating how to use our image widget within our content editor. Now to demonstrate this, I'm going to go ahead and drag in our image widget here. And I'm going to drag that onto the canvas. And from here, I can go ahead and resize this as well as move it around our canvas if I so choose. Now, say I want to adjust this quickly, I can head over here to the main tab and I'm going to have a couple presets that I can use. So say I want to enlarge this image and make it roughly half the size of the page. I can do that by choosing these options. Now it's a little off, so I want to go ahead and center this both horizontally and vertically. Let's go ahead and choose that. Perfect. Now that my image is in the center, how do I choose an image or even upload an image to display within our content editor? You're going to click on source here under image. And then from here, now we're going to be within our content editor. Your content editor is where you're going to house any of your media assets or images that you'd like to use within our content editor. Now we are a cloud-based solution, so these files can be accessed anywhere at any time. So to go ahead and display how to upload an image, I'm going to click on this plus icon here and I'm going to click on upload. From here, I can upload an image from my desktop. In this case, it's going to be a PNG and I'm going to click upload. And from here, you're now going to see that we have a duplicate. So to remove that, I just click the remove icon. Now, say I wanted to organize these images into a folder structure like we see here. I can do that by clicking on create folder, but I also have the option to connect a shared folder. Now this is our integration with Google Drive and OneDrive to where you can share images uh, with colleagues or uh, teammates within a single folder. So that's just another tool to use. But now I want to upload an image. So I'm going to select this image here and I'm going to click choose file. This is going to instantly upload your image with, to your content editor. And I'm going to go ahead and resize this just a little bit just to make it a bit smaller. Now say I want to adjust some additional properties. That's where I'd head over to our other panel here. And since this is a PNG, I have the ability to affect the background. Now, whether that's a color, I can choose that, but I can also get rid of that and choose a image as our background. So let's just select this one here. Now that I've done this, uh, we have a couple more options. I'm going to go ahead and remove that. And I want to give it a shadow, uh, a, a drop shadow, if you will. As you can see, we now have that drop shadow. But I also want to add a border to our image. I can do that. And I can also, you know, make it dotted, dashed, uh, many different options to choose from. Now, uh, I also, uh, we also saw some other images within our file manager. Now, we have the ability to upload JPEG, PNG, and even uh, GIF files. So let me go ahead and do that now. Let me just add a couple more images here. And I'm going to click on each widget. And I'm just going to head over to the main tab and once again click on source. And from here, I'm just going to select a JPEG. I'm going to resize it just a little bit because it's a bit small. Perfect. And now let's select that GIF and see if we get a little uh, video playing here. Awesome. So let me just go ahead and make that a little bit bigger. Perfect. So now I want to add some additional effects to these images. Um, let's say animations. Now you can add animations to many of our other widgets, but we're going to do this example for images. So let's click on other here. And as you can see, we have the option for an inner animation, repeat animation, and exit. Now for this uh, pigeon here, I want to go ahead and give it a enter animation. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and fade in. And I want to have this one. I'm not going to have it fade in, but I want it to pulse, as you see here on our content editor. And for this image as well, uh, I'm going to give this one a different repeat animation. Let's just do a, a swing here. Perfect. So now that I've done this, I have a couple more options in terms of customizing our images. So you don't actually need a, any sort of image editing software. You can do it all within Wallboard. So say uh, for this image here, I wanted to give it a little bit of a blur. I can do that through our filters tab. I can affect the brightness and then other things such as grayscale uh, and saturation. So I could make this a black and white image if necessary. Let's just go ahead and leave that at what it was. Perfect. So now that we've done this, we also have a couple more options here if we click these three dots. 
This is gonna give us our own custom margins that we can change. We can also change the opacity of an image. Uh, but what many folks use here is the rounding capability. So let me go ahead and use that. As you can see, our, it looks more like a button in this case, but we now have those nice rounded edges for this image. Now, uh, say I wanted to uh, you know, have a little bit more advanced of an animation, I can add that through our pieces widget. Now pieces are gonna be a little bit more graphically intensive for your media player or uh, screen that you're displaying this to. Uh, as you can see here, we have uh, you know, a little bit more advanced animation, uh, no pulse and, and no shake, but more of just these images sort of flying around the page. Now for pieces, how you're gonna change this um, is we have under the other tab, we have it where you can either go in, out, or mid, where all of the pieces sort of stay, uh, stay the same. Um, but in terms of in here, as you can see, they fly in a little bit differently. I'm gonna stick with mid here. Uh, I can also increase the speed. That's a little too fast. Um, but you see how all of these are, they're not quite in sync. Um, that's because they're staggered. Now, you can see what stagger here does by adjusting that just to one just makes it so it does it with different timing. I can also do delay if I so choose. But let's go ahead and select this image here. Let's go ahead and select this rainforest one. And now you can see we have this image flying in and completing its animation. Now, as you can see, we've added a couple images here and we also had the ability to add sort of this advanced animation using our pieces widget. Now, how do we show this and display it before we send it to our screen? So what you're gonna do is click the save icon here, and then now you're gonna click this play button. From here, now you can preview what happens in the screen. As you see with the pigeon here, we had it at a fade, and, fade in animation, and then now we have the draft pulsing, the GIF shaking, and then we have our pieces widget over here. So that's it for this video on how to add images to our content editor. There will be more tutorial videos available that will go over some of the other widgets within our content editor, as well as other features for our CMS. As always, please let us know if you have any questions by sending us an email at sales at Thank you and see you next time.